Yo, what is going on guys? It is Huggy Face Gaming here and welcome to another Dragon Ball Super Discussion type video and my goodness has been a really long time since we've last done a Dragon Ball Super Discussion type video just because of the fact that Dragon Ball Super has been finished for almost a month now or probably a little bit over a month already which is extremely crazy man like honestly for me as a Dragon Ball Super fan this time has been going by really really slow like we've got no news and information no nothing about Dragon Dragon Ball Super and whatnot so I thought we'd backtrack back to Dragon Ball Super and actually talk about many concepts that never really happened and for today's video I do want to talk about the mysteries of Jiren because there are so many mysteries about Jiren even though we already got so much information about Jiren obviously at the end of the tournament of power and whatnot there is still a lot we need to know about this character because not everything was actually said about this character like okay sure through the beginning of time when Jiren was a kid, yes, his parents died and that's what led him to be the person he is today. But at the same time, there is still a lot of mystery left within this character. Like, not a lot of people know that much about him. He's still pretty much a stale character. But even though he's a stale character, he is still by far one of my favorite characters. Like, he's in my top five characters of all time in Dragon Ball. Like, that's how much I really, really enjoy this character. And if you guys do follow my art Instagram where I draw, you know, Dragon Ball characters and whatnot, obviously, link to my art account is in the description below if you guys want to see the drawings that i do jiren is one of the main people that i absolutely love to draw like jiren overall he's a really really cool character to draw a simple design but i mean at the end of the day he's jiren like he's really really cool to draw and i love doing it but i mean apart from my art life there is still a lot we need to know about jiren and obviously one of the many mysteries that we need to know about jiren obviously like i was stating his backstory, yes, his family, his friends, his master, everyone died to a mysterious figure. And that's one of the main mysteries that I actually want to know about because obviously it was a mysterious person. We never got to see who exactly was the one that killed Jiren's family. Now, obviously, since this is Dragon Ball Super, many people were having a lot of theories, a lot of conspiracy theories and whatnot about who indeed can actually be the person who actually killed Jiren's family, Jiren's friends, Jiren's master and whatnot. And obviously, a lot of them pointed to Zamasu or Goku Black just because of the fact that it had, like, that whole aura around it. Like, obviously, when Goku Black was first introduced, that's exactly the same way they actually introduced uh, Goku Black. So, it's kind of reminiscent to Goku Black in the sense as just, like, the silhouette of that evil person who actually killed Jiren's clan and whatnot. But that's not the first time we actually saw that silhouette. It's happened many times throughout... Uh, Dragon Ball Z we've seen a lot of those things especially when they showed the androids 17 and 18 when they're being introduced by future trunks they were the same silhouettes so obviously it's it can't be Goku Black it can't be Zamasu a lot of people are saying that it might have been the god of destruction of the 11th universe Belmont but at the same time why exactly will Belmont actually kill uh, Jiren's clan Jiren's family Jiren's friends and whatnot I mean it would make sense because obviously he wants like a super warrior so maybe it was like a motivator to actually make Jiren who he is today and maybe the reason why Jiren actually wants to grow in strength is because he wants to defeat his god of destruction or I mean obviously he is as strong as if uh, as strong as his god of destruction so maybe that's why he's that strong because he knows like yo if you ever mess with like any of my personal feelings again I can beat you up because I am that strong so maybe it can be the god of destruction of universe 11 but at the same time i highly feel like it could be him so it's still a mystery we don't know who that person actually is unless like within the movie that's going to be coming out about the saiyans maybe we could get a little bit more backstory about jiren but at the same time the movie that's going to be coming out in december is going to be about the saiyans so i don't think it's going to be about jiren but that is just a little mystery in and of itself as to who exactly killed jiren's family one other big mystery that has never been solved within Dragon Ball Super in regards to Jiren is just how strong he can actually be because throughout the Tournament of Power we saw that Goku was literally no match for him in the very beginning obviously uh, Super Saiyan didn't do anything, Super Saiyan 2 didn't do anything, Super Saiyan Blue in and of itself was completely useless against Jiren. It wasn't until Goku actually mastered Ultra Instinct that he actually managed to stand a chance against Jiren, not even the omen of uh, Ultra 
Ultra Instinct was enough to take down Jiren. Like, that's how strong this guy was. Just how strong can this guy actually get through training with friends and whatnot? Because we do see at the end of the Tournament of Power, he actually opens up to Topo. Like, they see each other as comrades now, which is extremely crazy because obviously up to this point, Jiren has been doing everything by himself. But now that he does have friends around him and that he's going to be training with, how strong can this guy really get? Because we know that with training with other people, you can get stronger like look at Vegeta for instance he always thought that training by himself was the way to go but then he trained with future trunks in the hyperbolic time chamber and look what happened to him he grew exceedingly strong throughout that time in the hyperbolic time chamber not only that but also future trunks got as strong as Vegeta throughout that time so imagine if Jiren actually uh, trains with Topo how strong both of them can actually get not only Topo but Jiren because he's actually going to be opening up to people he's going to be teaching people how to fight like him how to be strong like him like maybe next time they fight maybe everyone from the pride troopers that fought in the tournament of power can actually be as strong as Jiren or if not like a little small like a small portion of his overall power like I'm really excited to see how much Jiren's actually going to grow uh, as the time goes by unless they actually don't bring it back anymore which is what a lot of people are saying that maybe when they bring back Dragon Ball Super it's going to be a completely different arc and Jiren is not going to be there as much which is going to be really sad if they don't bring back Jiren because he's literally like one of the strongest throughout the universe like a lot of people are saying that he might be another hit where hit you know people thought he was the strongest within the universe but then obviously the tournament of power came around and he didn't really get that much screen time so I'm, I'm kind of scared that's going to happen to Jiren but at the same time it is a mystery as to how strong Jiren actually is because it, he actually stood a chance against Master Ultra Instinct in the very beginning. Like, he actually managed to get some hits here and there. I mean, obviously, Master Ultra Instinct overpowered Jiren, but at the same time, it didn't completely overpower him. Like, he still had his grounds. He still had some, like offense in him so how exactly strong is you know jiren compared to people who aren't on god level obviously because with master ultra instinct that's basically goku being on god level but how strong is this man actually compared to everyone with like we've ever seen before like how strong can this guy really be which leads to a lot of people actually saying like who would win between jiren and murza masu which i don't really want to get into that debate unless you guys want me to get into that debate in the future video please let me know in the comment section below because a lot of people actually have their own opinions about the whole Jiren versus Merza Masu debate, but I have my opinions, and if you guys want to hear it, I will for sure make it in the future video. But apart from that, just one of the biggest mysteries, in my opinion, when it comes to Jiren is his wish. We never got to see what exactly Jiren's wish is going to be or was going to be at all when it came to the tournament of power, because obviously Universe 7 won, so Jiren really didn't get to get the super dragon boss to get the wish that he wanted and that's the thing i really do wish we got to see what exactly jiren's wish was like a lot of people had their own speculations that the reason why he wanted to get the dragon balls is to wish that beyond strength which is probably like infinite strength or something like that i don't really know what exactly jiren could have wished for maybe for his comrades back maybe his family back maybe to find the evildoer who killed everyone so he could actually get revenge on it and whatnot but at the same time that's not really jiren's character so it's kind of shocking that we never really got Got to get that revelation as to what exactly Jiren's wish was in terms of this whole tournament of power like obviously I would have thought we'd get a little glimpse as to what exactly he would have wished for I mean a lot of people are kind of like I'm saying they're theorizing when he actually got the backstory that maybe that's what he wanted to wish for he wanted to wish for his comrades back and whatnot but he even stated himself that friendship and all of that is useless like you really can't get that far by doing that method so that begs the question like he wasn't really going to wish for his family back because if he wished for his family back that means he actually had feelings for his old family his comrades his teacher and all of that which would completely break what he was actually doing at that time so what could his wish actually have been and that's a huge mystery that i feel like we're never going to get you know solved especially now that the tournament of powers is basically over we have nothing new about the tournament of power and no new secrets or anything unless the manga has actually something different than the anime actually does but we'll have to wait for that so thank you guys so much for watching this has just been a really really quick video about the many mysteries of jiren hopefully you guys did enjoy and until next time i'll catch you all in the next dragon ball super video if you guys have any suggestions as to who i should do next next when it comes to certain mysteries of people please let me know in the comment section below and i'll catch you all in the next dragon ball super video guys thank you so much for watching peace